This is the story of 10 classic yachts built with utmost art and skill that were developed before 1970. Did you know that a lot of them served and survived the Second World War? And that they hold an unbelievable wealth of history? Let's discover everything about them. World's Top 10 Classic Yachts Built with Exquisite Craftsmanship Welcome back to Yacht News. First up on our list is number 10, Shenandoah of Sark. Although we have put this vessel at the bottom of our list, she shouldn't be underestimated. This 180.7 feet, which is 55.08 meters, classic yacht holds a priceless piece of history in addition to being a luxury three-masted global traveler. She has hosted some of the most prominent families in the world, royal families, as well as her fair share of pirates and gamblers. Her presence at Giorgio Armani Superyacht Regatta at Costa Smeralda gave sailing enthusiasts a golden opportunity to have a glimpse of her rich history. The Shenandoah of Sark was built by the New York-based Townsend and Downey in 1902. Her exquisite design was the work of the naval architect Theodore Ferris. For the many years the vessel has existed, she has generously exchanged owners. That said, the Shenandoah of Sark was commissioned by the wealthy American banker Charles Farnstock as a retirement present for himself. Nonetheless, this schooner was refitted by McMullen and Wing, who gave her a new lease on life. He later sold the vessel to her present-day Italian owner. Well, we cannot exhaust every detail about Shenandoah, so let's get into number 9, Carlisma. At number 9, we have Carlisma, built in Scotland by Ramage and Ferguson in 1906. Her outstanding layout was the work of the top-ranking designers at the time, naval architect G.L. Watson and Co. She's a tribute to professional craftsmanship and has endured the tests of time thanks to a timeless Edwardian style and modern upgrades. Kalisma is a 150 feet, 45.7 meters long classic yacht that can accommodate 10 guests and 9 crew members. Although the yacht was initially commissioned by the Scotch whiskey distiller Robert Stewart, her most celebrated owner is the Hollywood actor Richard Burton, who bought her as a present for his wife, Elizabeth Taylor, when she won an Oscar. Just like the Shenandoah of Sark, Kalisma has had a good deal of owners and hosted prominent guests. Some notable figures that she hosted included Brad Pitt, Clint Eastwood, Prince Rainier III of Monaco, and the late Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, and many more. And that brings us to number 8, Christina O. Oh. At number 8 is a legendary figure in yachting, Christina O. Oh. She is arguably the most famous classic yacht still in existence that once belonged to Greek shipping magnate Aristotle Socrates Onassis. Built by 1943 by Canadian Vickers, Christina O. Oh is said to have frequently hosted some of the most influential and well-known persons in the world. She is well remembered for holding the reception for the wedding of Rainier III, Prince of Monaco, and Grace Kelly in 1956. When Aristotle passed away in 1975, her only daughter, Christina Onassis, who was to take ownership of the yacht, gifted her to the Greek government as a presidential yacht. In 1998, the yacht was purchased by John Paul Papa Nicolaou, who converted the ship into contemporary, top-notch luxury charter vessel. Before we continue with number 7, have you already liked and subscribed? Well, if not, do so so that we can welcome you aboard for more spectacular yacht content. And don't forget to ring that ship notification bell so that we know you're here. Now, let's continue with the next classic yacht. Number 7. Moonbeam 4 When you hear us talking about classic yachts, it's because they are. And one such outstanding yacht is the Moonbeam 4. Launched after the First World War, she was ordered by Charles Plumptier Johnson, the son of Queen Victoria's doctor. Her magnificent design was the craftsmanship of William Fife III. Her unique design has been a topic for discussion for a while. Reason being, Moonbeam 4 is strong enough to carry a storm cloud of sail, despite being thin and readily propelled through the sea. In person, it's a miracle she doesn't fall over. Moonbeam 4 also emits a pure, carefree luxury that strikes a balance between grace and speed. She boasts a complete dining room table on deck and consistently prevails in classic boat races. This timeless beauty has won the heart of many people. Well, this vessel has an outstanding design, but it's not as magnificent as our next one. Number 6. Hader 1929 
Built in 1929 by Friedrich Krupp Germania Werft, the vessel was given the name Haider in honor of the indigenous people of Alaska and British Columbia. This 71.1 meters long classic yacht accommodates 12 guests and 18 members of staff. She was acquired by the US Navy in 1940 for use during World War II. Her patrols along San Francisco Bay helped save numerous lives and defend important facilities. In 2018, the vessel was refitted by the prestigious Penn Dennis Shipyard, making her win the Neptune for the best rebuilt yacht at the World Superyacht Awards in 2019. A beautiful story right there. What's your favorite story from our list so far? We have seen the first five classic yachts, so let's continue with the next five. Number 5. Eros Launched in 1939 by the British shipyard Brooks Motorcraft, this classic yacht has attached the attention of lords, ladies and kings over the course of her eight decades at sea. Shortly after her launch, the Germans invaded British waters which caused her to be acquired for World War II. Unfortunately, her original owner passed away during that time. After World War II, Eros was acquired by the millionaire Greek shipping magnate Stavros Niarchos as his private yacht. Later, she underwent an expensive but meticulous repair to her current real classic and pristine condition. This 31.4 meter long yacht has six crew who take care of eight guests. Now, next on our list is number four, Melanie. Melanie's story is special. She was built in 1937, shortly before World War II. Her builder, Camper and Nicholson's, and designer, Charles E. Nicholson, must have done an excellent job because she survived the ups and downs of war. This 50.3 meters long classic yacht was owned by a number of different people after the war until being bought by the renowned Hollywood producer Sam Spiegel. Spiegel moored Melanie off of Jordan and used her as a floating office while filming Lawrence of Arabia. Have you seen that movie? Well, Melanie has a story, but that of number three is even more intriguing. Number three, SS Delphine. SS Delphine is the biggest steam-powered yacht ever constructed in the US. She was commissioned by American automobile manufacturer pioneer Horace Dodge and named after his sole child, Delphine. Regrettably, Horace passed away just a year before the arrival of his third private vessel that he had built, thus he was never able to witness her debut. However, his wife Anna and their family adored Delphine and cruised on her while giving cocktail parties in the Great Lakes and around the East Coast. The vessel was originally built by Great Lakes Engineering Works in 1921, and later refitted by Sheepsverf Seabrook. Now, let's move on to the runners-up. Number 2. La Sultana R.G. Petri, as she was known then, was the fifth of a fleet of 12 ships that transported people and freight over the Black Sea between ports of the Istanbul and Yalta. Although she was initially constructed in Bulgaria in 1962 for use of a passenger ferry, she became a Soviet Union surveillance ship in the 1970s after the Soviet Union assumed control of the whole fleet of passenger ferries operating in the Black Sea for military purposes. La Sultana is a 65.4 meters long yacht and accommodates 14 guests with 19 crew members. And now onto the most spectacular classic yacht on our list, number one, Talitha. Talitha is the epitome of a classic looking yacht from the heyday of sailing with her flaring clipper front, massive funnels and traditional counter stern. Built in 1930 by Friedrich Krupp Gemeinia Werft, Talitha is a 68.8 meters long yacht and can carry 12 guests with 20 crew. She was purchased by Charles McCann and was given the new name Charlina. In 1942, the US Maritime Commission's commandeered Chalina and put her into service as a gunboat with new weaponry fitted fore and aft. And that will be it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that we can welcome you aboard for more spectacular yacht content. On your screen, select the video World's Top 10 Trawler Yachts for Unforgettable Adventures on the left, subscribe to our channel on the middle, or watch another one of our videos on the right, and we're looking forward to seeing you in the next one.